Wish I could say I was finally over you the first vlog of 2022. Today's vlog is going to be a complete 2022 intentions and 2022 reset day. I have a lot of things I need to clean. The house is pretty clean but things like washing the sheets and taking the car to get washed and like detailing it myself and everything. So I'm going to do that. Oh and probably wash this thing you know because she's kind of stinky. She doesn't know it yet. I really want to sit down and manifest everything that I want to accomplish this year. It's really, really gloomy outside. It looks like it's going to rain, but I really want to go out for a run. Oh, I'll also probably have another self-care night. Take a bath, do a face mask. And it's winter and my skin has been rough and really, really dry. So I think it's a good time for a mask and probably a hair mask as well. Also should have mentioned, if you're new here, my name is Hammy. Welcome to my vlogs. I do fitness, triathlon, lifestyle content, and everything in between. So hit subscribe and like this video if this is something you want to keep on seeing. And I'd love to see you around some more. And let's just reset our life. So I got this top for Christmas from Lululemon and it is so breathable. I can't have like fleece or something like too hot because I sweat so quickly. I like the pattern too, it's kind of trippy. <laughs> Something that I've been bad at in 2021 and 2020, just all my life, is taking vitamins on the weekends. I don't know what it is. I think it's when I sleep in and I'm eating breakfast, I just like lounge around and I just completely forget about it versus I grab it on my way to work or something. But I do it Monday through Friday and then Saturday, Sunday, I just, it's out the door. So this is completely empty and I'm gonna refill it. And I'm kind of gonna go, kind of going to go through what vitamins I take if this is of interest to anyone. Okay, first is fish oil. This is good for hair, skin, and nails to keep them strong, shiny, and healthy. These are the ones I take last because they're the big daddies. And they can be quite large to swallow. I should have opened this before. 
this might be really TMI, but my whole life my feet have peeled. Like peeled to where they bleed and they sting. And so I finally went to a podiatrist in October. And he recommended that I incorporate vitamin E and D3 into my vitamin regimen. And I kid you not, for the first time in 10 years since being a swimmer and having this foot problem, my feet are completely fine. Not one cut, not one peel, no bleeding, no scratching, no itching, just completely normal. Of course he had like a prescription cream and I did that for a few weeks, but then I stopped it. But I think this and this is what's helped me maintain my healthy feet. So TMI, but if it's of interest to anyone and if, if that's something that you deal with, those vitamins have really helped me and I'm pretty sure that they're beneficial for something else in your life, but anyways. Okay, next is B12. Because I don't eat a lot of meat. This is really good if you like tofu and you like to live a majority of plant and vegetables in your diet. If you know, you know. Cranberry vitamins are so good for vaginal health. And nobody's looking to get a UTI, so. Then next is hair, skin, and nail gummies. And lastly, adult multi. Now for the most satisfying part. Voila. Also another vitamin hack, something that I started doing quite a long time ago is using salad dressing containers to put one extra thing of vitamins for when I'm on the go or I know I'm gonna have a really busy morning and I need to leave with my vitamins because I can't take vitamins on an empty stomach. I don't know about anybody else, but it gives me a tummy ache. So whenever I'm eating breakfast on the go, I grab this instead of like trying to like get it from whatever day of the week it is and like hold it in my hands or whatever. But this is a salad dressing container from Container Store. And so these are my on the go vitamins. Now I'm gonna open a box from Amazon that I just got. time at this point I have bought this protein it's the organ organic protein this is the vanilla let me show you the chocolate I'm a chocolate gal so I'm surprised that this one is not the one that I use more often this one just lets me it's more versatile this one I put in oatmeal and with oatmeal bananas berries and everything like the chocolate one's not gonna go so well with that one. The chocolate I'll do with spinach and a frozen banana if I'm feeling chocolatey for a protein shake. This I will put in oatmeal, I will put in my green smoothie, I will drink by itself. And so this one has been the one that I've gone through multiple containers for. But I really, really love Orgain. I think it's a great brand and it has really clean ingredients. And by clean, I mean it's a plant-based protein, it's vegan and I can read everything on the ingredient list. And that's always the goal. If I can read it, I'll eat it. Lately, I've had such a munchy craving for like something salty and crunchy, and I've been eating a lot of chips. And I just can't. Like I've been eating out of the bag and it's been kind of bad. So I wanted to get some seaweed. And the brand is Give Me Organic. Give Me, yeah. And it's sea salt and avocado oil. I really wanted the tempura ones, but I kind of thought like, okay, if I'm getting tempura fried chips, might as well just get chips. So I just got the plain seaweed just for that kind of salty crunch when I'm craving it. And it's only 25 calories per pack. No sugar, um, 
quite a bit of sodium, but you can't win them all. You ready for a bath? You ready for a bath time? You ready to not be stinky? some comfy sweats that was so relaxing now matcha is barking um i've been in need of a new hair mask and so i asked for a hair mask for christmas but i'm not brand loyal to anyone and so my mom got me the olaplex one and i'm so glad she did because i've been meaning to see what the hype is about and it feels really really nice we'll see how it dries but i really like it so we're about to have dinner right now and I wanted to pick out a face mask for it to do once we dinner's done and I really want something with moisture and hydrating because my face is so dry right now. I think I'm going to do this one because tea tree oil is really good for that. We're about to watch Queer Eye and this season is based in Texas and they're really milking the fact that it's in Texas even though it's Austin being very Texan I will say but man what a mood booster it's just so good does anyone agree tell me if you're watching Queer Eye and you agree that no matter how shit your day is if you watch Queer Eye it will make it better te prometo <laughs> 